this video is actually to my family. Um, first want to say that I love you all a great deal. Um, and many of you all are walking with me and Brad, Brad and I um, are on the side of justice. Many of you, of you all understand your, uh, your roots in terms of your African ancestry and are aware of your African ancestry. If you're not, I want you to know first that you are descendants of slaves. Even if your daddy is white, you are descendant of slaves. And I'm hoping that Mr. Trump's press conferences, that his statements with the, that have happened in the last four days have concerned you and are breaking your heart. Because now it is a time to choose sides. You stand, either you stand with your uncle, myself, or you stand with your cousin, and we stand together as a family against the, against the fascism and the uh, and white supremacy and systematic oppression that is happening to your very own kin folks. I hate making this video. I, I thought about maybe I should write it, but if I wrote it, then you all wouldn't see my face and wouldn't hear my voice. From the day that this election happened to us, that the White House was stolen, I was deeply worried and deeply concerned. For I knew that the attacks on black and brown people, that the attack on, on LGBT folks, would rise underneath this president. I knew that white supremacy and systematic racism and oppression would be resurrected even more underneath Mr. Trump. And so I cried and I weeped. I weeped for Muslims. I weeped for women. I weep for black and brown folks. I weep for queer folks. I weep for trans folks. I weep. So, if any of you wondered why I was weeping, because I knew that those who most need justice and equality would be impacted by this White House. I weep because the power of white supremacy was trying to find its voice. I weep for our Jewish brothers and sisters. I weep for our Muslim brothers and sisters. I weep for Christians. I weep for non-Christians. I weep for the poor. And I weep today for the mother who lost her child because of white supremacy. Because when I place myself in that position with seven nieces and one nephew I can almost hear the voice of Rama found in Jeremiah where she weeped for her children over me from the heavenly balcony of heaven where she weeped and she screamed and she screamed and she weeped. 
I ask you, my family, to not just hear me, but hear Rachel in that city called Ramah, watching her children being murdered from the heavenly balcony. Hear her cries and see her tears. Because to me, Rachel is every mother whose face I see. To me, Rachel is Heather's mother. To me, Rachel is the mothers of our trans brothers and sisters. To me, Rachel is Aunt Nancy. Rachel is Aunt Sis. Rachel is Aunt Debbie. Rachel is Aunt Regina. Rachel is Aunt Sonia. Rachel is Aunt Norma. Rachel is Kiana. Rachel is Debbie. Rachel is the other Debbie. Rachel is Anita. Rachel is Leslie. Rachel is Mahalia. Rachel is Anita. Rachel. Weeping over her children from the heavenly balcony. Watching Mr. Trump declare war on our babies and on our communities. I could hear Rachel at that press conference at the, tr at the Trump Tower today weeping. Because justice was put on notice that white supremacy and that systematic oppression wants a voice in American democracy. Justice was put on notice. The enemies of Rachel's tears. It was a God that told Rachel that all would be okay. So I ask you to imagine yourselves being Rachel. Hear uncle, hear your cousin. Hear us, hear us and stand with us. Now is the time that you have to choose sides. Either, either you're gonna be with the marginalized or you're gonna be with a Trump White House who is attacking your brothers and sisters and your aunties and uncles and your cousins and your neighbors. Now is the time to hear uncle's voice but more so my voice, hear the voice and the tears of Rachel. Rachel is Yandora, who has two little black boys. Rachel is Jerrica. Rachel is me because I cry for all of you and I lift your names in prayer every morning for protection and for guidance and that your families are blessed. Rachel is me. watching over you.